to my channel. I feel like it's been such a long time since I've sat down and filmed a video, but life has just been kind of hectic and I haven't really had a chance or had anything that I wanted to film. But today I'm going to be showing you guys my little holiday glam makeup look. This is just something that I came up with, my little version of what I think a holiday glam look should look like. Definitely be sure to subscribe and like this video if you aren't already. I love everything beauty, fashion, and just creating videos. And I could literally keep talking forever. So to save you, let's just get into this tutorial. Okay, so to start off, I'm just going to clip my hair back as usual. I've recently been trying the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base as my primer underneath makeup. And I definitely get the hype about this stuff. I absolutely love it. I basically apply it just like a moisturizer and I feel like it blurs my pores unlike anything else. I know you guys have seen me use the Refi Primer and I really do like that too, but something about this really just makes your skin look like flawless before you even put makeup on. For my base, you could honestly use whatever you like or whatever works best for you. My two favorite products right now is the Dior Backstage Foundation. You guys have seen me also use this a lot. And the Fenty Dew Drops. I mix these together on the back of my hand and it kind of creates the perfect like bronzy shade for my skin. I honestly barely use any foundation like that's as much as I use. And then I'll just take like one or two drops of the Glow Drops and just mix that in. And then I just dot it on my face before I blend it out. To blend it out, I'm going to use the Morphe S94 brush. This is kind of just like a compact synthetic brush. And I feel like brushes have been working a lot better on my skin than beauty blenders. I haven't really been reaching for my beauty blender in like months. I feel like it just takes too much of the product away and it kind of like wastes your makeup. And if you use the brush correctly and use little padding motions, I feel like you don't get brush strokes either. So I've been honestly liking using the brush a lot better for my base. Okay, so for concealer underneath my eyes specifically, I use the House Labs concealer. I honestly don't think that there is a better concealer on the market right now. This stuff is so lightweight, but it still covers like all of my dark circles, which I have because I'm Italian. And sometimes I'll just use it to highlight different points of my face. But then for blemishes and stuff like that, I use the Tarte Shape Tape, the ultra creamy version. And I'll just dot this anywhere I need a little bit of extra coverage. And let that sit for like a minute before I blend everything out. As I blend underneath my eyes out, I've been also adding the Becca X Smashbox Under Eye Brightener. This stuff is really, really good, again, if you have dark circles that you really need to cover. And it just adds like a pinky undertone. You could see literally just by dipping it in a little how much it brightens up the under eye. I just add this kind of like in the middle and the corner with a smaller tapered brush before I blend everything out. I'm going to go back in with the same foundation brush and just use little padding motions to blend everything together. Now really quickly before I do anything else, I'm gonna set underneath my eyes with the Huda Beauty Powder. I think this is the Cherry Blossom shade. It's like a very pale pink. And I just use a little brush and just tap it underneath my eyes and let it sit there for like a minute or two. And I'll do this on my chin and on my forehead too. I don't set the rest of my face yet because I'm still going to use some cream products. For bronzer, I've been loving the Laguna Cream Bronzer by NARS. I just take a, again, synthetic brush, dip in, and just really messily, honestly, go around the perimeter of my face and just outline where I want the contour to be. This really doesn't have to be precise at all. I feel like every time I do this, it looks different. You just want to get your jawline, your cheekbones around your face, the nose, under the lip, just like the normal places you would contour. And I like really messily just put it along my nose as well because we're gonna fix it later. And I'm sorry if the lighting's really weird, there's a window right here and it's just not working. 
I'm gonna take a tapered brush. This is the Morphe M439 brush just to, in circular motions, blend the contour upwards on my face. And this stuff seriously blends out so easily. I like am barely putting any pressure and it's all just blending away. I feel like this is a really good base to bronze your face up before using a powdered bronzer, which I will go over this with and set. I feel like the more I do my makeup, the more, you know, you obviously learn what you like and what you don't like. And I really feel like I've been using cream and powdered products for most of the steps in my routine, starting with the cream and then setting it with the powder. And I feel like that makes everything honestly look a lot better and last so much longer. I always had a problem with my makeup just not lasting throughout the day. I remember being in school and like I would come in with mascara and everything and by the end of the day it would literally be like running down my face. So I feel like this is like the perfect base routine so far. So I'm just gonna set that cream bronzer with the NARS Casino bronzer. This is I think the shade darker than Laguna. This is also my summer shade so hopefully it's not too dark. Okay I can work with this. I don't even know if I told you guys why I'm getting ready, but I need to take some content for a couple of certain things. My Instagram, just kind of getting some digital stuff done today, so I wanted my makeup to be done. For blush, I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury, the Pillow Talk. I think this is the Peach Gasm shade. And just do two dots on my cheeks and one dot on my nose. And just blend that out. These are so worth the money. I mean, they get very mess. <laughs> they get very messy in the tubes. They're so gorgeous. I any shade that I've used of those, I've loved all of them, but the Peach Gasm is my favorite. And then with that same brush, I'm just going to take this little Anastasia blush palette. This is the Blush Trio in Cocktail Party and just take these two pink shades, mix them together and just add it over top of that blush. Now before I move on to the eyes, I'm just going to take the Morphe setting spray and set my base. And I have an electric fan to dry it. This was on Amazon and this is like literally such a ridiculous purchase, but it's so great. So I'm going to be using two palettes for my eyes today. The first is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette and the second is the Moondust Palette by Urban Decay. So I'm just going to take these two shades right here and start blending them into my crease. And I'm just going to use like a tapered fluffy brush for this. I feel like I usually start most of my eyeshadow looks with just a nice transition shade in my crease. I feel like you can't go wrong that way. It just adds like a nice little dimension underneath whatever you're going to put on top of it. So in this palette, there's two cream eyeshadows. I'm going to take the deeper cream eyeshadow, which is this like darker brown right here, and just start patting that in the outer corner of my eye. Don't worry about being too precise. We're going to blend everything out. But I kind of just dab this in a little V shape right on the corner of my eye like that. Again, don't worry about the blending. You just want to place it there. Now with that same fluffy brush, we're going to take a little bit of the transition shade, that very light brown, and just start to blend out that cream shadow, keeping it centered on the outer corner of the eye and just bringing it a little bit, I would say halfway into the crease. And I use just circular motions when I do this and try and drag it up and out on my eye. And I would say, honestly, just keep blending. You might, it might look crazy and it eventually, so, and it eventually softens out. Okay, so it should look something like that. I'm going to take this deep, like, maroon brown shade now and start packing it again on the outer corner of my eye. Just using another similar brush. And this is to kind of set that cream in there and give it more of a dimension. I love using, like, burgundies and browns around the holiday. I feel like it's such like a classy way to do like a holiday look without doing red or green. Again, I'm not really worried about blending. I'm just placing the color there for right now. And now to blend that out, I'm going to use a big, just fluffy synthetic brush. This is from, I think, Sonia Kashuk, if I'm saying that right. And now you're just really going to go in ham for like a good three minutes and just blend them out.
Okay, to add a little bit of dimension in the middle and inner corner of my eye, I'm going to use this Rare Beauty. This is a like cream eyeshadow. It's in a stick form and it's so easy to use. I love this stuff. It's in the shade Integrity and it's like a really pretty champagne color. I also love champagne for the holidays. I think it's really, really pretty. So I'm just going to put this in the middle to inner corner of my eye. And again, this could be honestly really messy. You're just trying to get the product down. We're not worried about blending anything yet. And I'm just going to take my finger and pat that in. Now this is where the fun part comes in. The Moon Dust Eyeshadow Palette. There's four colors in this palette. I honestly don't know which one to use. I think I'm going to go with Wild Dipper Rides Again, which is this pretty like pink, really, really reflective shimmer glitter color. And I'm just going to take this on my finger and this I'm going to focus just on the middle of my eye. Just like that. And then just take a brush with nothing on it and just lightly blend the edges together in the crease. And that's it for the eyes right now. I'm going to move on to eyebrows and then come back. My eyebrow routine has not changed literally at all. I'm still using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown. And I just fill in any sparse areas. Usually that's like the tail of my brow and right by the arch. I've been liking the more natural brows recently. I know I've said that before, but I feel like I look at old pictures of myself and I'm like, literally, wh like who let you walk out like that? And as always, I'm gonna take the Refi Brow Gel. This stuff literally is like glue for your eyebrows. And just set them. I'm gonna move back to the eyes and do a little bit of color underneath my waterline. I'm gonna take that same maroon brownish color over here and just smoke that out underneath my lash line, focusing on the outer corner. Whenever I do eyeshadow, even if it's just like bronzer in my crease, I will always put a little bit on the lower lash line as well. I think it just pulls the look together. And then just because this is like a holiday glam video, I am going to use the Moon Dust Eyeliner by Urban Decay. And this stuff is basically like painting on glitter. And just really focus this right in the inner corner of my eye and right on the bottom on my lash line. I don't really know if you could tell, but it just adds like a nice little sparkle. So now I'm going to set my face one more time, but I'm going to use the One Size Beauty Setting Spray. While that's still a little wet, I'm going to go in with the Cookie Highlighter by Benefit. And I'm going to use this pretty sparingly. I'm just going to use it on my nose, a little bit on my lip, and on the brow bone. I'm not going to put any on the cheeks because I feel like we already have enough glitter going on and I really don't want to like overpower it. For eyes, I'm just going to go back in with my eyelash curler. Obviously, you can use any eyelash curler. This is the Kevin Aquan eyelash curler. It's literally the best. And I'm going to take a brand new tube of the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. This stuff is so, so good. I'm so happy to have it again. This was like my middle school, high school, like go-to product. This is like all I used to wear, honestly. This and concealer and bronzer. This literally reminds me of like getting ready, going out, like... There's something so nostalgic about this product for me. And it literally hits every time. Like, it just looks so good. There's no mascara that's better than this. The only other one that I really like is the Telescopic and the Maybelline, like, dupe for this that I use all the time. Okay, I'm so excited to show you guys my new lip combo. As always, I use the Pillow Talk lip liner. This is not new. This has been, like, a forever thing. I just love this. Okay, and to finish off the lips, I'm going to use the Morphe Drip Glass Glazed in the shade Berry Stained. This is literally, I don't know why this is not talked about more, I'm obsessed. It's like the perfect berry winter shade. And I now take the clips out. 
And this is my finished holiday glam makeup look. This is my version of a little holiday glam. Something simple yet like really pretty and cute that you could wear to literally anywhere out, holiday party, Christmas, New Year's, whatever you celebrate. I feel like this also looks good in a lot of skin tones. It's kind of like a universal tutorial kind of tutorial just kind of really showing you what I do but thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed definitely be sure to subscribe if you're not already and like this video and stay tuned because a lot of fun and exciting stuff is going to be coming this December and I can't wait to share it with you guys I love you and I will see you in the next one bye baby, 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 baby,